you know, the older we get, of course, it, it, it's just part of life. Yeah, different health issues come about. You know, a lot of times uh, you go through life just doing just fine, but others, well, you might have some different issues they have to deal with, especially when it comes to circulation. Uh, and in your legs, and they start getting those veins that show up. Dr. Hasim Barmana at well, the Vein Center, how are you? It's good to you. see you again. Thank you. We've been here on several occasions talking about uh, you know, your veins and everything, and, and it's true, uh, and there's different conditions that can contribute to us having the vein problem. So uh, talk about that a little bit. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, there are a number of factors that actually cause uh, varicose veins and chronic venous insufficiency, which is the name, mm -hmm. the proper name for uh, varicose veins. Uh, heredity is very, very important uh, job uh, uh, qualities and uh, yeah. what, what you do at your job, whether you stand for long periods or sit for long periods, mm -hmm. more than five, six hours a day, then that would be very, very important as a contributory factor. And of course, pregnancy is very, very important. Uh, many ladies uh, point to pregnancy as being the, the time when they actually began to see the varicose veins. Mm -hmm. Being overweight is very important because that compresses the veins and the venous and the uh, lymphatics that come back uh, from the legs uh, into the body and the heart, and that increases the hydrostatic pressure, and therefore it would contribute to varicose veins. Mm -hmm. So these are the main, the main factors. And of course, there are other factors. Well, the older we get, the less, you know, too, the less active we are. So as you said, you know, sitting, standing, or whatever, moving around is going to contribute to you know, causing some of those problems with varicose veins. After the age of 25, everything begins to deteriorate very gradually. We lose about 1% of our potential mm -hmm. every year. So from 30 to 70, 40 years, we, use, we lose 40%. Wow. And that deterioration will actually affect the veins too. Mm -hmm. So as we grow older, the ability to maintain the integrity of the veins also decreases. So we will tend to have more varicose veins, uh, more heart disease, more everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna pull this up here real quick. The, uh, this is a little chart on the vena, venous system mm -hmm. that, uh, that shows exactly the different things that you have to look for talks about the blood flow and the things that uh, you know can can cause some problems for you. Sure, and can cause some actually can some health issues down the line. Absolutely, uh, the the main one which worries most people is clots, mm -hmm. clots in the deep system, because they can be uh, clots in the deep system as well as the outer system. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at the picture over here, there is the the mauve the. Uh, uh, purple vein, which is the deep vein, mm -hmm. and then there is the blue one, which is the vein that contributes to the, to the problem of varicose veins mm -hmm. and chronic venous insufficiency. So when the valves, uh, this shows a competent valve, and mm -hmm. uh, the competent valve in the open position and the closed position. So in the closed position, it will not allow the blood to come back. But when it's incompetent, like in this case, the vein dilates mm -hmm. and the blood begins to come back. Once it comes back, then it increases the pressure, which damages the next set of veins coming down. Mm -hmm. And this becomes like a cascade that goes down and damages the entire um, uh, group of valves in that vein. Okay. Well, we're going to actually do a, uh, well, the doctor is going to do an ultrasound on someone and show you exactly how that works. We're here at the vein center in Ocean Springs. But tell us about this patient's legs. Thank you. Uh, this lady was kind enough to volunteer to uh, show us her legs. She has already had one leg treated. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see that there is this uh, lipodermatosclerosis, which is a, an advanced stage in venous disease. You can see some of the veins are bulging under the skin over here. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing connects to the a uh, great saphenous vein that connects at the very top with the deep vein. Right. So now we're going to show you how a vein has been closed and we'll show you the other side with the vein still open. Okay. So let's go. So do that little, little uh, ultrasound goop going on there. Right, and we <laughs> always do it in the standing position because okay. the vein will go down to a quarter of its size when the patients lie flat. Ah, okay. All right, so if you don't mind, uh, Okay, a little, a little f further out there, and don't worry, a bit more. Mm -hmm. And again, this gives you a, a better view. Right. Of, um... So this is the deep vein over here. You mm -hmm. can actually see it. Right. And this is the vein that we 
treated and you can see it's closed now. Okay, oh, I can okay. see it's closed. When I put the light on it here, the, uh, it does not light up, mm -hmm. which means it's closed. It compared that, compare that with what happens here, you can see a lot of lighting up, that's flow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as we go down further, mm -hmm. you can actually see in the leg over here, the vein, the branches of the vein, which have not been treated yet. You can see actually how the flow goes to, uh, to uh, forward and backwards. Right. And that obviously means that the vein is going to dilate because there is increased pressure inside it. And of course, okay. having increased pressure, that's going to cause more that's health right. problems. That's right. And if you look further down here, uh, you could see that the constitution of the fat is abnormal. Mm -hmm. This is what we call lipodermatosclerosis. There is a lot of fibrous tissue that's building up because of this very advanced stage of back pressure. And that cuts off the circulation? It can cause clots and mm -hmm. eventually, obviously, they can, that can go into the deep vein and to the lungs and cause mm -hmm. problems. And you can see over here how uh, you know, the veins function. Now we'll go to the other side that has not been treated. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind uh, changing that and change your position again, please. And we'll go to the other side and show you. <clears throat> again, we'll go to the very top. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the deep vein, you can see that. Mm -hmm. And that's the artery here pulsating away. Right. And that's our, our vein over here. So that's our vein. And you can see... A little bit better blood flow. Yeah. All right. So as we go further down, mm -hmm. we go to the middle here and you can see the vein. Now, this is not nowhere as bad as the, as the other side. Right. In fact, right. In fact, this is a good vein here. So we may not be, we may not need to treat that particular vein um, because, you know, there is no backflow, only a little backflow. Right. But I think she is communicating with perforators over here, which right. are short stubby vessels that connect between the deep cyst and the outer cyst, and that's the one that needs to be treated. So, so I, let's, I guess it really depends. We're about, we got about 30 seconds left here, doctor. Uh, it, it just depends on each individual one that can come in here. Uh, and get a, a for a consultation, and you do an exam on them and find out exactly what needs to be done. Absolutely, every per, every person is individual, and everybody has a, a game plan okay. uh, to be treated. And no two people are exactly the same. Okay. Well, if you want some more information on that, what you need to do is uh, give the doctor a call, or you know, call here to the Vein Center. They're located right behind the Ocean Springs Hospital in uh, off Highway 90 in Ocean Springs. You or someone else knows this, get yourself some relief here from the Vein Center.